What's up guys, it's your boy Vic and I'm back with another video. Today we will be going to Dallas, we're taking the crew cab out. We're gonna take the fuel cell, let me show you. I'm going to the shop where my OBS is getting built, the orange one. I'm gonna drop off the fuel cell. It's gonna be a little performance show, show slash race truck, I guess you could say. And the giveaway truck was dropped right now, let's head to the shop and I can show you the review. Reveal, my bad. There it goes, guys. This thing looks complete. We still are, I'm still not done with it. I have to uh, wrap the roof gloss back. And uh, my boy's gonna get down on some body work on the right side because I had a pole. God, just look at this thing. If you want to enter the giveaway, follow my Instagram, DM me. It's 50 bucks, Zero Cash. I'll be like, hey, I want to enter the giveaway. Then we'll get your spots. Look at that thing, man. Those of you who know for the last video, we did get this truck running A1. All that's left is fix the transmission leak. I listed it for sale for eight grand. If it sells, it sells. If not, I'll build it. I don't really mind. But look at this thing, guys. Let's do some cinematics. So yeah, right now we're gonna head to Dallas to lock up the shop. Uh, he actually started tearing down my truck, so you're gonna get to see. I'm gonna take the crew cab out and hope y'all like the setup. It's a lot of money getting put into it, but you know, it's part of the game, pay to play. And let's get us head over there. So guys, we're here at the shop with Mad Machinery. Right now he's just explaining all the things he was doing to it. And I think all the issues we had was the ignition or something like that. Yeah, we're gonna get the ignition wire ran so we can go and hook up the box for the ignition system, the distributor. And basically, man, once we get it out, get the new motor in, get everything set up, we'll be good to go. Yes, sir. But yeah, I don't care if you want to cut it all up, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll just basically cut it and put like a little pigtail on it. So if you do want to hook everything back up later on down the line, you can. That's fine. So guys, yeah. we'll have custom gauges. That's for the oil temp and what else? Uh, water temp. Water temp and yeah. So instead of going with this route, we can just take these gauges out and put them in here. You can mount them like right here or kind of have you want to do it if you want to have them like over here. It's kind of up to you. You can just let me know where you want to put them at. Uh, I, I really want to get the one right here. We can just have the gauges over there. Do you have those? Uh, nah, but I mean, we can make some work. Something like that. It's kind of you, like how you want to. Uh, what looked the best? Honestly, I would, cause these light up. You, have you seen mine? Uh, when I cut my lights on, it light up pretty bright. It's like a white, like halogen LED light on the inside. Yeah. I mean, we can go like this if you want, just so you can see it. It'll be facing you, cause I mean, it's not gonna really be in the way. So it'll be two. Yeah, it's gonna be the uh, water and the uh, oil temp. Uh, cause I'll be right next to the shifter. Yeah, so basically you had a shifter right here and then you had your two gauges basically right here. That's cool. So it won't fall off off the bezel? No, no. I'll make a bracket. Yeah, that's it's cool. Right here. It's because I think the bezel's broken on the corner. Which one right here? Yeah. There it goes, guys. So guys, right now we're yep. talking about where he's going to place the fuel cell. That'd be cool. Basically how it's gonna look. Yeah, I've seen most OBSs have them in the back. Yeah, where the sump is, it's gonna sit up under it. And then basically what I'm gonna do is 90 degree, put the fuel pump, fuel filter, run another line, and then basically it's gonna be another fuel filter up front. Yeah. So you'll be good on fuel filters. Basically how the vent valve and stuff like that. So you're gonna cut the bed? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna basically, it's gonna be sitting flush, but I'm gonna just cut like a little hole right here. I'm gonna cut a little hole just so the sump can sit in it. So that's the only thing uh, it's gonna be cutting the bed just for this to sit flush on. That's cool. So that'll give me like what, 60 miles? Uh, this one, it just depends on how you get the carburetor to. And then once like, you start driving, you can kind of see like basically how many miles per gallon you get. Uh, it's gonna be better as well. Yeah, I mean, if you want, if you want to do something like crazy, we can cover it in stickers or something. If you want, because it's a show truck or something like that, kind of if you want to do it or just keep it calm like this, polished. Yeah, I'll probably keep it like that. Something like that. Or if I do put stickers, it'll be on just one of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I got my whole fuel for just like basic rapping still. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be real neat, bro. It'll What's be hard to drive with that, or is the same thing as automatic? Well, basically, on the shifter part, let me show you. I know that video you sent me, it was like double tap or something. Yeah, so basically got like a, uh, like a safety, uh, neutral safety lockout. So yeah. you won't, when you racing or something like that, you won't accidentally pop it in reverse. Yeah. So basically. That's crazy. I always see those in the race car, so I need one. Yeah, like, man, it's the only shift I use in all my race cars. So basically how it goes is, depending on if you got a Ford or a reverse valve body, so it'll be. So basically that's all the way up front. Yeah. So it'll be a little tab right here. It'll say park reverse neutral drive. So yeah. basically I'm gonna park right now. So you'll pop it down one time. That's gonna be reverse, neutral, drive. And one and two. Two, and then one. So basically say for example, you start off in first gear, gonna bump it to second gear, you're gonna bump it to drive. So now you notice it's not going nowhere. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop that forward, lock it up, All right. and then basically you're gonna reverse. All right. So basically that's why this is, so it's like a little safety feature for it. So basically, so basically I went back down. So when you pop it, it's not going nowhere. As soon as you pop that, you see it kind of move a little bit, yeah. That's cool. And then later on when we put the nitrous on it, um, you can put the button on the side uh, right here. Or if you want to do like trans brake or something like that, you can do it like that. But yeah, on the shifter part, it'll be. I want it like not low, but like high, sort of. Yeah, so basically, I can try to get it to like. I'm going to the other side real quick. But yeah. So basically, it'll be something like this, somewhere comfortable to where you can still drive and be able to grab it real kind of quick. Yeah. Cause you don't want to be down here and be trying to lean and down, trying to trying to grab it. It'll be so, a little bit higher. Yeah, like kind of. Uh, yeah. Somewhere right here. Is it supposed to be like at that angle, or is it supposed to be like flat down? I mean, kind of however it's comfortable for you. I kind of like to just basically where I'm kind of comfortable with it, to where yeah. you can just grab it and just go. Uh, I can modify it to where we could adjust it. So if you get in, you be like, nah, bro, it's kind of too high. We can kind of go down on it and come back up on it. I mean, it's kind of however you want to do it. I can modify it however you want to do it. Because I was thinking about buying one of them seats, and I'm going to put these seats in the back truck because I'm going to paint that one orange. Okay. So, yeah, if you do bucket seats, it'll be way better because you can kind of have it, like, right here or however you want to do it. But, yeah, most definitely I can modify it to where to sit, like, right here to where you don't have to. It'll be real easy access for it. So basically, like right here, I'll mock it up, and then I'll have you come back by, like how you sit in it, and see how yeah. you want to do it. Cause it's adjustable, right? Yeah, it's gonna be adjustable. That's cool. But yeah, guys, that's basically the majority. It'll be badass, and that's just the other stuff that's coming along. And I'm super excited. Close the door real quick. So guys, we're talking about the bug catcher setup. He has one on his uh, 406. Oh yeah, 406 mile block. One of his upcoming videos, guys, we will be going to the track. We need to go. Yeah, that thing's looking badass, guys. I can't wait. But yeah, this is the... Where the, uh, the MSD box, the uh, summit box. Over there. I got you. Yeah. Wash the engine bay. Tuck the wire. If I do that, if I do do that bug catch setup, I'll probably just take this off, take it home. That's cool. And uh, let me know if you want, cause I can get one of them to help me, and then we can just take it off and wrap it up for you. So uh, you can uh, just basically just take it with you. But yeah, there it goes, guys. Coming along. So I get some parts from Summit. And yeah, there it goes, guys. So you said if I do the bug catch, I'll just do like the spacers? Yeah, so basically, uh, depending on how, how you want the bug catcher to sit, we just basically put spacers around it right there. That's cool. And um, on mine, I have a one inch and a half inch spacer. And um, basically what it'll do is basically just basically the height of it. So what I do is I'll start off with a half inch since there's no cow hood that's gonna be on it. I'll start yeah. off with a half inch. If 
you want to go up a little bit higher, I just add another half inch on it. You got spaces here? I got to get that or something. Uh, you might have to get that or something. I know I have some at home. But I might get. Uh, I might just buy me. Well, I go to summer right now. I see the prices on the book catchers and the spaces. If I like it, I'll bring it and we just take the hood off. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And I'll take it without the hood, probably. Okay. Cool. And yeah. So, guys, we are leaving the shop. My girlfriend was calling me about 30 damn times talking about. What the fuck you doing? You cheating on me? I'm at the shop, bro. But yeah, guys. About to go to Summit. God, I love these seats. About to go to Summit, get the missing parts, and let's get it. So, guys, this is going to be it for today's video. This is the bug cut I bought for my OBS. I will be taking off the cow hood. I might be running it for no hood for a couple, like a couple weeks or so. So, I get a stock one. But, uh... Yeah, this thing is sweet, man. Just look at this thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, like I said, guys, this was just a, a quick little video vlog to get out there. Basically showing the truck. And I just want to say thank you all for the recent support. If y'all can... Oh, damn. We're about to hit 10K. That's crazy. If you're new, subscribe. It's crazy because I was just at 9.3. This morning, now I'm at 9.9. .9. Don't forget, guys, the giveaway trick. Please get your entries. The quicker we do the giveaway, complete the spots, the quicker we can find the winner. But yeah, I've been, I read this whole book in a day. Remember, guys, reading is good for you. You learn a, a few things, but uh, more bad if I'm talking quiet. I'm just I'm home. I don't want to talk too loud. But like I said, thank you so much for the recent support. Follow my Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a bunch of videos. If y'all want to go check them out. <laughs> As y'all can see, all these videos, all of them. But yeah, y'all be safe. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you have a good day.